what's up everyone this is Meek. welcome to my channel i am here to do a tutorial on isotopes plugin that's free yes free it's called vinyl and they've updated it and it looks super dope and it's free and um there's a dope effect that you can do which is called the spin down effect and i'm going to show you how to use that spin down effect um using the automation within logic pro x which is i feel like this is a very helpful tutorial because um i just made a beat and i wanted to use a tape stop effect and i didn't want to have it spin down through the whole region in which i was using the spin down effect on and it was super hard because um first of all i didn't know how to do it um because of automation like it wouldn't allow you just to you know touch and then spin it down like that it won't allow you to do that to do that so i went to youtube and i searched and i searched and there was no tutorials i think one person had a video showing it but i mean you know it, it didn't like you know i wasn't you know i didn't see any videos that helped me so i'm making a video hope this helped you and your creative process and your creativity overall and you can do some dope things on vocals with it on drums um on drops super cool stuff um but before i show you the tutorial um i want to um, show you the tape stop effect within logic pro x that's already a feature um within the daw um so i'm going to show you that first um so you guys can skip it if you already know how to do the tape stop effect um uh, already i'm just going to grab an apple loop and drag it in they have some great apple loops I've been sleeping. I didn't favor like at least 20 already just trying to find something to use a spin down effect on that wouldn't get flagged. Okay. So I'm going to just show the folks how to do a tape down effect. So if you know this already, just fast forward into the feature. Alrighty. So the way you do a tape stop effect is you go to the toolbox here and then you go to the, um, fade tool now what i do is just press t then a does the same thing that's a short um shortcut um you know key whatever you call it whatever it's a shortcut so anyway you're going to go to the end of your loop which i do i think most people use their tape top effects on the end you can use it however you want though like you know what i'm saying you can have it stop in the middle of a line and then bring it back in you know what i'm saying whatever you want to do get creative with it Alrighty, so here's mine. I'm gonna put it at the end and then I drag it over to the side. So let me go back because I was talking. All right, so I'm at the end of my loop. I'm here and I'm gonna drag it over. And when you drag it, it's gonna automatically give you a V type shape. You can make it a U by just like, you know, dragging it inward, you know. And then you double click it and then you just press slow down and watch it. You see what I'm saying? So that's dope. And this is important. I hope everybody didn't skip ahead because what I did on my last beat is I used the tape stop effect along with the vinyl effect. So it was super dope. So you can double like stack them and do some cool stuff. So the way you take it off is you double click it and then you push remove fades. Alrighty. So let's get into it. So we're going to get to our vinyl. So the way you get to vinyl is you go to the audio effects, you go to the audio units, and then you're going to go to isotope, and then you're going to go to the end of your isotope plugins because everything is in ABC order, making it easy for us. Vinyl, stereo, already cool, there we are. So it's going to bring up the vinyl, and look at this cool, you know. Plug in how, you know, the update is. The update looks beautiful. I love it. It looks, you know, it looks like a real vinyl. The other one, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't use it that much. I didn't really like the way it looked, honestly. And I got it because I was just making beats back in like two, 2014. I was trying to learn. I wasn't really making, I was trying to learn. I was watching a bunch of tutorials and a lot of um, teachers on, you know, on YouTube were saying you need the vinyl. It's free, you know, so I got it trying to be like Bryson Tiller, you know, his music, he used it a lot, um, 
in this musical career or the engineers or producers so we stopped rambling but anyway i didn't use it i got this i just downloaded a few days ago super dope i can just, just see so many endless possibilities so i'm just going to choose a year and my year is set to 1970s you can go to any year but i'm gonna do 1960s and then i'm going to turn up my wear to 52 because i automatically turn everything to 52. Turn up some dust on there. I'm going to turn up my warping. I just want to see what that was about. Oh, that scratch. It, it makes it like really much darker. So. So you see, you can to totally transform um, your sounds with this. Alrighty, so I'm actually keep this up because I like to see with what my um, plugin is doing when I'm doing automation. So let's get to the automation part, okay? So you're just gonna press A on your keyboard. It's gonna bring up your automation window. Um, you wanna make sure it's on read, okay? And it's gonna say track. So I keep mine on track. You know, I don't know about the uh, region. I'm sure you could do it with region two, but I keep mine on track. Um, and then you want to make sure it's on read, not touch. Because like I said, touch will, it doesn't allow you just to touch it and then give you an effect. It doesn't do that. So if you try to do that, it's not going to work. It didn't work for me at least. All right. And then you want to go to your automation parameter or par parameter. I keep saying parameter. Parameter. And it's going to defaultly say volume. What you're going to do is go to your plugin in which is vinyl okay and you want to go to spin down because that's the effect we're using so you want to go to spin down everything is in abc order too and then you yeah, spin down okay and so we're there now right you want to make sure this is off this is just what i come to know i'm not an expert okay <laughs> but this is what i know all right, so I'm going to go to the um, bottom of my loop, and I'm going to double-click it. Oops. I want to make sure your automation, uh, your tools automation fader is off. So T, push T. Okay, you're going to go to the bottom of your loop, double-click it, double-click it, and then you see how this is all low. You want it to all be low, right? So I want mine to spin down right here. So what I'm going to do is double click here, click, or one click, okay, and you see it's brought up two clicks when I click at the top, don't worry about that, because it's still useful. So I'm going to bring it up there, and now you have like a square. You want to make sure it's on. And then, I want to turn it down, turn it back off, my spin down effect here. So turn off. I'm only leaving a little space just in case there's like some audio tail, but you can totally, you know, like put it at the end. So you can do it like that. But I'm not. I want to have a little bit at the audio tail. So we're going to play it, and I'm just going to play the last part of my um, loop, and then we're going to watch this as well. Okay, so we're going to watch this spin down. Um. Also, to note, this is going to say on because that's where it's on at. The spin down effect is on right here. And then it's back off again. It's off here, but it's on here. That's what that means. So I just want to be as thorough and as clear as possible. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's hear it. Okay, you see that's dope. Um, I'm gonna tell you some problems that I was running into when I used the touch instead of the read option. And I know you're probably gonna run into that because I'm gonna have someone that says it doesn't work for them. And I don't think they're gonna probably watch the video whole through, but please watch it the whole way through, okay? Because 
I only do tutorials, um, you know, that I... I only use tutorials when I discover something and I think other people will know and it's not a lot of information about how to use a certain thing, okay? So when I use touch and I just held it down, it didn't work. And then um, when I did do the read at first, I had this up and it was it was completely off. So watch if I turn it um, up and I turn this on. It's probably play a little bit, but then it's going to completely be silent. Actually, that's kind of dope, too. You see? It's nothing. And you're probably going to say, well, mine's just quiet. That's because you have it on. You got to have it off up until um, the point where you want it to be on, and which is at the end. Okay? So. It's still going to play your um, vinyl effects all the way through. And it's just going to have the spin down option at the end. Alright. And I've been repeating myself a lot but because um, I just don't want anybody to be um, confused. Or if they leave a comment and you know it doesn't get answered right away and they're making something at that very moment. I just want them to be able to have clear instructions alrighty so yes that is logic I mean not logic that is isotopes vinyl within logic pro x alrighty I hope this helps you um, keep on creating please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching